Good morning, Muncie Park School. Today is day six of our at-home learning, and that means it's time for our morning announcements. Here we go. In Muncie Park School, today is Thursday, March 26, 2020. My name is Giada Pescatore, and I am from Mrs. Morris' fifth grade class. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We will now hear some important announcements from Mr. Nolan. Thank you very much, Giada. Good morning, boys and girls, teachers and staff. Happy Thursday to you all. We have uh, a shout out to those boys and girls who have participated in my Flipgrid Challenge. And I want to con con I want to thank Lachlan D, Charlie D, Olivia W, Julia P, William R, Catherine F, Yushay L, Margaret F, Adriana V, Zoe L, Mark S, John D, Jordana O, Mary P, Madison R, Harper R, and Caitlin J. Thank you so much for participating. Today is National Epilepsy Day, which is why Mr. Nolan is wearing his purple shirt. And some boys and girls have asked where my tie is, so here's my purple tie today. Today is also National Spinach Day. Happy National Spinach Day. We have morning words of the day. and They come out of our Morning Mantras book. And it is, never, never, never give up. And that's from Winston Churchill. Boys and girls, don't forget to show your three R's, respectful, responsible role model. And don't forget to show your amazing character in your words, your actions, and your attitude. Make it a great one. Let the day begin. And we are going to begin our day, Thomas, with a story. And the story I selected is one of my all-time favorites. It shows kindness, determination, and success. And it's called The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper. And we're going to share this with permission from Scholastic. So here, here we go. Here comes the story. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. Look. Mm -hmm. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes, brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. There were, yeah, there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. Yeah, the clown. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after-meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What a cow! A cow! What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. What does clown get? Yeah. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us out. Oh, what my mercy But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters want them whatever hungry people want to eat, and a parlor car in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out the big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you. 
Indeed not. What a clown. Oh, see the clown? And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are I not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let's ask him to help us. A black train. Mm -hmm. The little toy clown waved his flag, and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us out. But the big strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. Well, a blank train. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another one. He looks very old and tired, but our train is little, so perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag, and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. A blue train. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us out. But the rusty old engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Then, indeed, the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and the toys were ready to cry, but the little clown called out, Here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one, but maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug-chug-chugging merrily along when she saw the toy clown's flag. She stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? she asked kindly. <clears throat> is she kind? Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and the toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. Can you see the blue engine? I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes, and she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who wouldn't have any toys or good food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged, and slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster, the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. Oh, and the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. Huh. The end. That was a great story. So that means we're going to have another Mr. Nolan's Flip Grid Challenge. And in this story, we learned about perseverance, which means to do something even though it might be difficult. So even though something might be challenging, you pull through it, you try hard until you succeed. And here's my challenge. What I want, boys and girls, is for you to write a short skit or play demonstrating perseverance. Then, with your family members, you can act it out and record it on Flipgrid. 
And if you don't have a sibling, a brother or a sister, you can be creative, use a doll, a stuffed animal. And I wanna see if you could show me perseverance. So, go on to Flipgrid and the code is Muncie Park. Boys and girls, make it a great day.